हेलो फोर सेम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम एस कृष्णपा असोसिएट प्रोफेसर कोटोरेश्वर डिग्री कॉलेज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स कोटोर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ए सिंपल मल्टीमीटर सो दैट इज ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एक्सपेरिमेंट इन फोर सेमिस्टर आल्सो आई टोल्ड इन डिफरेंट प्रैक्टिकल क्लासेस दैट दिस ईयर you will find almost all optics experiments and 3 to 4 electrical experiments you have to do the experiments in the classroom practical classroom very clearly then only it is possible to do the practical examination very clearly so and the viva questions also plays an important role yes look here i am going to so an equipment which is going to be called a multimeter what is a multimeter a multimeter is a device which is used to measure resistance voltage and also current dc current ac current dc voltage ac voltage for multiple purposes this equipment is plays an important role in physics department related to electrical circuits so because of that let us study what is the calibration of a galvanometer into a ohm meter as well as a volt meter as well as an ammeter what should be the construction of a simple multimeter let us see see for the beginning you are using an electrical network i told many times that electrical circuit you have to make the connections by yourself in the examination for that you have to be practiced using these electrical wires these are the electrical wires which consists of copper wire you have to connect them very clearly don't connect this insulator so the first part of this experiment is connect all these wires r1 goes to r2 r2 goes to a battery battery goes to a galvanometer this is galvanometer galvanometer goes to a resistance r1 this is called r1 this is called r2 so because of that let us see first point is calculation of galvanometer current calculation of galvanometer current so because of that let us see this is r1 this is r2 so it consists of number of resistance so keeping the value of r2 constant vary the value of r1 and note down the deflection in the galvanometer here is the deflection in the galvanometer 0 to 30 0 to 30 divisions each division you are going to count 1 2 3 4 like that now let us start by oning this battery here is a switch you on it you are going to get the voltage you can keep around 0.4 volts here that becomes the emf of the cell so by oning it you are going to observe the deflection look at that you have to adjust this r1 in such a way that deflection should be on the scale don't go beyond this scale now i removed resistance r1 500 ohms by keeping r2 constant and then i have got the deflection around 28 here so note down the values of that in the tabular column for 500 ohms i got the deflection around 28 like that if you remove 550 now i will remove 550 here look at that so here is 550 550 ohms here it is 550 now i'll remove that and you got the deflection around 26 like that so 550 you got 26 so like that different values you can take the value of deflection calculate the value of 1 by d then draw the graph r1 versus 1 by d you are going to get a straight line here is the straight line from that straight line you can calculate the slope where it touches if you extend that it touches the y axis 
if it touches the y axis at certain point calculate that value oa is equal to g which is going to be called galvanometer current which is going to be called galvanometer galvanometer resistance it's not current it is resistance so if you know emf if you know slope it is possible to calculate the current sensitivity of the galvanometer that's most important point calculate the current sensitivity so that gives the ig current i mean galvanometer current is equal to n into k where n represents number of divisions k represents current sensitivity of the galvanometer which comes around 600 microampere per division 600 microampere per division this is the first part of this experiment now this galvanometer can be converted into a ohm meter as well as this galvanometer can be converted into a meter as well as this galvanometer is converted into voltmeter so like that it is possible to calibrate this galvanometer into a multimeter which consists of ohm meter which consists of a meter which consists of a voltmeter like that now what is the second part by keeping the value of r1 constant now this is r1 note down the value of r2 and take the values in such a way that you have to get the e1 deflection you have to get the e1 deflection so by drawing the graph again r2 versus d you are going to get a curve like that so for known deflection for example 17 you are going to get the unknown resistance so like that it is possible to calculate or the calibrate this galvanometer into ohm meter galvanometer into ohm meter now the second part of this experiment will be so conversion of galvanometer into galvanometer into a meter how to do that so it is possible to convert this galvanometer into a meter by connecting a very small resistance very small resistance in series in series so for example conversion of galvanometer into ammeter is done by using this formula sc is equal to ig into g divided by i minus ig where you can calibrate that voltmeter you can calibrate this voltmeter i mean galvanometer into so 1 milliamperes of ammeter 10 milliamperes or 100 milliamperes like that like that it is possible to calibrate this galvanometer into a meter similarly it is possible to calibrate this galvanometer into voltmeter by connecting a very high resistance in series <coughs> very high resistance in series with the galvanometer it is possible to calibrate this galvanometer into voltmeter using the formula r is equal to v divided by ig minus g where g represents the galvanometer resistance for example if you take v is equal to 1 volt that voltmeter i mean galvanometer can be calibrated into voltmeter similarly you can do number of examples v take the value 5 volts v take the value of 10 volts like that it is possible to construct a very simple multimeter which is used to measure resistances voltages as well as currents so this plays an important role in physics department to measure the voltages currents resistances in different electrical circuits in the network theorems wherever you go you have to measure the voltages like this